what's up block fam here at Cowie about to test ride the uh, KLX 300 so it's between this for the SM I figured full send let's do the dirt version <laughs> Tall seat, squishy suspension, so skinny. All right, <laughs> this is so much different from the last bike I rode. It's the uh, Triumph Rocket 3, so this is so <laughs> different. So traditional test ride fashion, I'm gonna go over the controls. Very simple stuff here, left side. Obviously, clutch lever, you've got your high beam, low beam, left signal, right signal. They indicate there in one, press in to cancel. Horn at the bottom, on, off, starter, throttle, brake. Ooh! <laughs> oh man, the gauge, man, it's like on these bikes, they just obviously don't need to make it all fancy. It's totally about the ride and your, what you're using it for. The application, right? <laughs> There's so much lift to the front, like whenever you throttle on it. It's, dude, the suspension is so squishy. Love it. Squishy, is that the right term? I shall call him Squishy and he shall be mine and he shall be my Squishy. Come here, Squishy. Oh, yeah, side note. Driving through a hangar. Awesome. So yeah, the whole gauge display here. Got your RPMs in the top, odometer in the bottom left, miles per hour there in the center. Got your clock on the bottom right. This is a hoon bike for sure. What do I mean by hoon bike? I mean, it's like, you know, you want to go off road with it. You want to hit some trails, all that stuff. I've been debating for a long time on getting one of these, a supermoto. The supermoto that I've had in mind for a while is um, the DRZ 400, but I figured, you know, do my research and it'd be a good idea to kind of see what else is out there, see the other stuff feels like, but I know the DRZs are like one of those staples in the industry. Yeah, it's a tall bike, man, but very skinny. So I'm five foot 10, coming to a stop. I am uh, on the balls of my feet. It's a 300. <laughs> so it's super funny. Like the first ride, obviously, like I said, uh, was on the Triumph Rocket 3. And so like coming out of the lot there and getting on it, it's just stupid fast. <laughs> Holy <laughs> And like that bike, tons of fun. Absolute monster, gobs of power. But like jumping on this one and like full throttling it, you know, taking it up to like red line, shifting, it still makes you smile, still makes you laugh. And it's one of those things that's like that I always say in my demo rides, you know, in these uh, test ride videos that you guys come across is I can have fun on any motorcycle. Just to give you guys a little bit of background about me, I've had CBR 1000 RRs, which is, you know, a 1000 CC super sport. I also own Honda Groms. I actually traded the CBR 1000 RRs are four 200 grams and so uh i can pretty much have fun on any motorcycle shifting feels good nice positive click both up and down <laughs> it's so fun oh man i want one it's like, i don't need any more projects though you know it's like i need to focus and finish up like the stuff that i've got on my plate i don't know maybe in the future also one of the things that kind of kept me from getting like a supermoto is the fact that people think oh like if you're riding off road like you can't get hurt but i actually know people that have gotten more hurt off road than they have on road just because you're you know more of like an uneven surface uh uncontrolled environment like if you're riding trails and whatnot but man they're just fun bikes you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you're coming across this video i'm sure you're doing your research or maybe you're interested in supermotos or like some off-road bikes from main manufacturers out there you guys let me know kind of what you're leaning more towards oh no whoops stalled out Six years. All right. Boy, it is struggling. <laughs> yeah. To get up to speed, man. I mean, it's it's a 300. You can't expect for it to be the fastest thing out there, but you know, you're really not looking for like top speed and all that. You're looking to be able to take this thing off road. Yeah, it's, it feels like a solid bike. Very similar to the uh, for the DRZ. It's kind of interesting, like getting it to start up there. Whenever I stalled out, it like wasn't wanting to start. I'll pull back on throttle a little bit. Oh no. 
So yeah, ergonomics, um, five foot 10 inches tall. I mean, it's an upright bike. The pegs are pretty much right in the middle. I'm comfortable. I don't feel squished up at all. The seat, <laughs> it's a pretty damn long seat. So you can sit real forward if you want. You can sit real far back if you want. Obviously changes your center of balance. Oh man, I should have ran it. But seat feels comfy enough, no big deal. Yeah, I don't feel any heat like coming off the engine or anything. I mean, it's it's a really fair weather today. It's like 73 degrees right now. It's absolutely beautiful weather. No heat against the legs, you know, I'm just in regular jeans right now. So all good there. Ergonomics good, power, meh. I mean, it's not the torquiest thing ever. That would be an interesting comparison uh, in the torquiness because I know like that torquiness really helps a lot with riding off-road. Knobby tires, man. <laughs> this thing does not feel planted. It'll ride on the road, no problem, straight line, but as soon as you start kind of like throwing it around, it just doesn't feel the most confidence-inspiring. Dude, the suspension on it is just awesome. Riding on a cloud suspension. I mean, it's meant to like have a ton of absorption and rebound. Yeah, this is my first experience with this bike. I've honestly like signed up for it because I love the way it looks. Like I said, I've kind of been tinkering with the idea of like having a supermoto. I probably should have just ridden the supermoto to be honest, but I figured eh, it will feel like what their off-road version feels like. Dirt version, I guess I should say. I just really feel like it's kind of, I don't know. Like when getting on it, I expect something like a little more uh, based on other supermotos that I've ridden but other supermotos that I've ridden also have a larger displacement engine which would make sense as to why they feel a little gruntier they've got uh, a bit more torque and they kind of get you up and going a little better than a 300 does the big thing about like deciding on one of these bikes is like if, if this fits uh, what you're looking for and you're okay with like the power output then you know you feel like it's more fitting for the riding that you're doing it's gonna be lighter weight than a 400 as well which obviously has its perks while riding dirt off-road yeah I don't know for the stuff that we do like around Florida yeah we got a lot of sugar sand I don't know riding fire trails and whatnot a lot of the stuff that's like around the area where I live you know I'd be riding through the woods which is a lot of sugar sand and so like having that kind of more low-end responsive torque I think would be more useful because it's like you can put your weight on that rear tire and just you know throttle out of that stuff but that's just my opinion if this is something that's gonna fit y'all's application then cool it feels solid I just kind of wish I could you know take it over there and see what it feels like so we are coming up to the end of the ride one of the things that I do try to offer with my demo rides is criticism because there is no perfect motorcycle not one bike can do it all so one of the criticisms I don't know I really kind of feel like I'm wanting more out of the uh, the power output downshifting even that it's just kind of really like ringing it out I kind of feel like I'm riding my Grom <laughs> In terms of like just leaning over, standing up, all that, it feels good. I mean, it's a lightweight bike. That's my criticism is it just kind of feels like, I don't know, I, I, me personally, I want a little more out of it in terms of power. And so I think I would look at something, maybe a step up. Would I buy this motorcycle? That's also another question I like to ask or answer during my demo rides. Having ridden it, based on that last answer, I wouldn't buy it. But once again, that's just for what I'm looking for. This might be the perfect application for what you guys are looking for in terms of the power and the weight I would be looking for something a little bit more powerful and uh, having it be as lightweight as it is that's pretty nice they're able to throw this thing around no problem anyways that has been the uh, test ride on the KLX 300 thank you to Kawasaki and Progressive and IMS for putting on the show greatly appreciate the opportunity hope you guys have enjoyed this test ride hope it was insightful if you guys are looking into this motorcycle I had I could definitely have some fun on it kind of wish we were able to take it off-road but what can you do you guys are decommissioning it <laughs> Well, that's sad. Why are they taking it away? All right. <laughs> I was going to walk around the bike for a little bit, but guess I'm not. Anyways, for those of you out there that might be looking for it, let me know what you think. Drop a comment down in the comment section below. Interested to know y'all's opinion. Hope you enjoyed it, though. Hope it was insightful. If it was, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let's YouTube know we're doing a good job. If you guys want to continue to see more moto content, more test rides, builds, all that good stuff, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Big thanks to Justin James. Edit the boy for riding along. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.